All right, guys, as promised, here it goes. Big review of all the NECA Nightmare Before Christmas action figures that I have. So I'll just start. This will be very random. Uh, I've got a massive box down here with these guys in it. Boogie Boogie. Now, these are the, these are the re more recent releases. I don't have all these, um, but they just recently started putting them back out. Uh, Diamond Select started putting them back out. Looks like 2015 I picked this up. So the big Oogie Boogie. And the only other way to get him prior to this was a, a set with him and Jack where they were having that battle with the, the cards and everything. I've got that set. I'll show it to you. Oogie Boogie. Um, also, Sally. You get Sally there from that same collection. And she's great. And now they come with these amazing accessories. This looks like Sally just comes with a stand and a, and a thing you can pose with her back. So that's pretty cool. These were really nice. The, the first three that they released were Jack, Sally, and Oogie. So I got all them. Now here's, here's one word that I've heard about these. He also comes with the stand. Just the uh, NECA figures in general, and, and if you collect NECA, you know this. I've certainly experienced this. Uh, NECA figures do break. Um, they can be kind of brittle, and certainly with Jack's uh, skinny joints and dimensions, I would imagine that if I were to take this out of the package and fool with it at all, it's, it's, gonna, it's either going to snap right out or if it's eventually going to break. And I think the, the ones I'm about to show you were like that too. So, you know, I'm probably never going to take these out. I would love to take them out have a huge like mood Halloween table and put them on display, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure they'll break. And just mainly the jacks because I've even got a jack that is broken in package and it wasn't when I bought it. And that's kind of how brittle they are. That's NECA. NECA, you need to improve your quality control, guys. Uh, I hate to say that, I love your stuff. I love the Predator stuff, the Rambo, the Robocop, uh, the throwback to the 8-bit uh, the video games, the NES games. <coughs> they do gremlin stuff they do godzilla stuff <clears throat> for the most part I'd, I'd say i don't know on the NECA figure it's 50 50 i had a christopher reeve superman NECA. uh just love that thing i've got the michael keaton batman both the uh, video game version and the, the all black from the movie and you know those those were great but then the superman christopher reeve broke within like a day of me just posing it and trying to use it so anyway moving on We've got Sally, and this is going into now the NECA figures that were released that had all the accessories. She looks like she comes with a table and a sewing machine maybe and all that stuff. So this is really great. Uh, let's see, we've got... Man, it's going to take me forever to do all these. We've got Nighttime Jack, Bedtime Jack Skellington there. Love that. He's got a PJs there. We've got Dr. Finkelstein. Okay, comes with his his chair and all kinds of accessories. He's got the the bowl of soup and everything, as you can see. Great looking figure there. We've got the basic Jack Jack Skellington with zero. Uh, really proud to have this. He's got the pumpkin king head and all the pumpkin accessories and everything. Love that. That's my favorite. We've got Cyclops. Uh, not to be confused with Scott Summers from the X Men, right? Cyclops monster. I don't know how well you guys can see the lighting is just terrible in here. Da da! I hate the lights down here. Uh, Cyclops. He comes with all kinds of cool stuff. He's got the little elf. He's got one little elf and a, and a doll and a sheet of music and everything there. Cyclops. You got ooh my other favorite, the Pumpkin King. All these pumpkin head accessories. Too freaking cool, man. Would have killed for these back in the day, man. When I first saw that movie, could have had this collection. They've done almost every character you can think of, as you're going to see. This is um, Mummy Boy and Bat Kid. Mummy Boy and Bat Kid uh, come in there. Um, I think maybe the one I'm missing might be the witch, but I'm not sure. I know I'm missing one. Might be the devil. I can't remember. We'll see what I've got here in a minute. Uh, what do we got? So we got Santa Jack with an elf. He's winking. He's got an elf. He's got an evil wreath. The monster wreath that came after the kid there. The cool thing about these NECA figures is they came with a lot of the, the oddball accessories that you just saw for like a split second in the movie as, uh, you know, the kids were opening these Halloween toys at Christmas and stuff was chasing them. And uh, you get most of that with these figures uh, as accessories. Nope, I do have the witch. There they are. There's the witch's set. Uh, you've got the witches. It's just simply what they're called. And they, they come with broomsticks and something else in there. I don't know. They're pretty cool. 
which is, man, I wish I had better light. I wish you guys could see. Um, trying to think if there's a light I can use. Actually, there might be over here. Um, thought I brought one down. There's one. Okay, I've got, a, I've got a little bit of a light here. I don't know if shining this light on anything is going to help. Help you see it better. Here's the wolf man. Nah, that ain't going to help nothing. That was stupid. The wolf man right here. He's got an elf. A lot of these come with elves. You can see he's got a, a present accessory there. I'm about to run out of space over here on my left. I'm going to have to put these back in the box. You've got the vampire. The big vampire there. And what I showed you earlier. And he's got the uh, some kind of uh, boy there. Bat boy or something. The vampire includes. It tells you what it includes. I can't read it. It's really great. And it's got a. He's got an umbrella and a bat boy or something. He it's actually that what he comes with is the toy that he gave the children and it scared them and it chased them through the house. Uh, all that. So let me start putting these down so I'll have more room to show you more toys here real quick. That's a problem when you got limited space and all these toys you start running out of space. I've been thinking here lately, my favorite things uh, to collect are transformers. Uh, G.I. Joe, and my top favorite is Masters Universe. And of course, I've always got a soft spot for Star Wars, so I was thinking of, uh, you know, just downsizing a little bit and making, leaving my uh, collection to that. Of course, I'll never get, but then I start thinking I'll never get rid of my Fraggles, I'll never get rid of this or that. So it's always kind of a bust, kind of a moot point to say I'm going to narrow it down because I never do. All right, you've got the Harlequin. Yeah, the Harlequin and the Demon, okay? The Harlequin Demon. He's got a, he comes with a bat, I think. So the Harlequin right there, the Harlequin Demon. He looks like something out of Where the Wild Things Were. <coughs> Excuse me, Where the Wild Things Are. So I've got a couple more uh, from the newer set that I forgot that I had them. Finkelstein from the newer set. I've got Behemoth and the Easter Bunny. It's pretty cool that Behemoth comes with Easter Bunny. Looks a lot like that uh, Bendy Behemoth there got wow I've got another new uh, the new Jack Santa which is awesome I may fin have to finish out those newer NECA releases those are really good and I've got this Santa Jack uh, with the little boy the little, the little boy who was uh, freaked out by all that creepy stuff they brought to him on that nightmare before Christmas Christmas morning all right I've got another Sally looks like this is Sally with all of her bottles and her basket and all that stuff she did to uh, whack out Finkelstein. Um, let's see, this is, dun, 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 sorry about that light, Igor, okay. This is Igor from, uh, I don't know, did he work with Dr. Finkelstein? Maybe, he was in there, he's got the plans for Christmas and everything. Uh, let's see, well there he is, I was wondering if I had the devil, so I'm starting to think, starting to wonder what it is that I missed. I thought I missed one. But I've got the devil there. Kind of weird for a for a preacher and a pastor and a Christian school teacher to have an action figure of a devil. But there you go. It's the devil from Nightmare Before Christmas, right? I've got the clown. I am the clown with the tearaway face, right? Does he have the tearaway face? All I see is a unicycle and a horn, but he's pretty cool. He's he's actually been re-released, so I might need to acquire him. The, the re-releases are more vibrant, bright colors, like almost black light, uh, kind of a little bit like the, uh, the, I guess the Five Nights for Freddy's stuff that they're putting out, but they're brighter. But I, but they did, they just went, this NECA line is deeper. They just did almost every character you can possibly think of, and I collected them and collected them until they quit putting them out. This is the Undersea Girl, okay? Undersea Girl there. Man, we're getting up on 10 minutes here. This is the, uh, the mayor. And he does have that flip around head and all those cool accessories that he had in the film. And we're almost done, guys. I've got, there's the, the Mac Daddy right there. There's Jack and Oogie, and Oogie's green here. And you get another Jack figure, and you get a diorama of the cards and some of the things they were, they were battling on. And it looks like that when you put it on display. So that's pretty darn cool. But anyway, guys, that's my NECA Nightmare Before Christmas action figure collection everything mint in the on the card 
Um, would I ever be open to discussing selling these? I would probably as a set for the right offer. Uh, I do love them, and it would be hard for me to part with them, but if you're interested uh, in acquiring all of these in one fell swoop, because they are hard to get now, uh, just message me, and I'm at least open to the conversation. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you tuning in, and tune back soon for uh, some eBay auctions and some more toy reviews.